السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ اے نیو چیپٹر اینڈ دس از چیپٹر نمبر تھری گریویٹیشن اوکے وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ دی فسٹ ٹو چیپٹرس دی فسٹ ون واز موشن ڈسکرائبنگ موشن اینڈ سیکنڈ واز فورس اینڈ لاز آف موشن and this is the uh, third chapter gravitation so uh, we will study uh, this gravitation in uh, detail and this is a very very important chapter as far as physics point of view is concerned so you have to clear its all its uh, concepts and all its dimensions so that you can uh, you can uh, Uh, you can be at ease in the in the uh, higher uh, classes for example in in class 11th and in, in class 12th so this is a very important chapter uh, so uh, we have studied in the previous chapters that uh, force is the cause of change in state of motion for example if uh, one object is is at rest you have to uh, apply the force to change and uh, to to change the state of that uh, object okay that means uh, you will bring that object in 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 motion by applying the force and if some object is uh, moving okay and you can change change the state of that uh, moving object uh, that means you can uh, bring that object at rest by applying the force so uh, this is all about the force okay uh, uh, the cause of change in in the state of motion is is caused by force so uh, isaac newton uh, understood uh, understood that uh, it is this uh, same force with uh, which the object are attracted towards the earth and uh, satellite uh, revolves around the earth and planets uh, uh, revolve around the sun and he called it as a gravitational force so uh, this is the same force uh, by which uh, by which the ob- objects are attracted by the earth and the uh, satellites are revolving around the earth uh, or uh, or planets revolve around the sun and this force he called as a gravitational force okay uh, this is called the gravitational force so in this chapter uh, the study of uh, this chapter will give us a clear understanding of the concept of the force of gravitation we will uh, study this force of gravitation uh, in in detail and you will be and uh, you will get uh, clear concepts about the understanding of this uh, concept and the factors on which it uh, depends so uh, the uh, it's uh, uh, the uh, force of gravitation or law of gravitation says that every object in the universe attracts every other object this is important you have to remember this that the force or law of gravitation says that every object in the in the universe attracts every other object whatever you see in in the universe you see planets you see uh, satellites you see uh, earth you see sun moon and uh, other uh, stars so they, uh, they all attract each other okay the uh, sun attract the moon the moon attract the earth earth attract the uh, moon and earth attracts the other objects okay and uh, in this way every object in the universe attracts every other object uh, if we uh, if we remember the uh, newton's third law to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so if one object attracts the other object the other object also attracts the uh, attracts that object as far as newton's third law is concerned so uh, we have all observed that uh, if an apple uh, if an uh, for example if an uh, if any object is thrown upwards 
it will uh, it reaches a, a certain height and then starts falling down towards the earth a similar observation of an apple falling from a tree made newton curious okay this made newton curious the uh, newton was sitting uh, in the in the garden uh, and was uh, he was solving some mathematical problem uh, while he was uh, sitting, uh, sitting under the tree, under the apple tree, a uh, 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 an, an apple suddenly fall onto his head. So uh, he was not just like us, uh, which will uh, which will let uh, let it go. Okay, and he he uh, begin to th think about what was uh, what was the cause that apple didn't uh, uh, didn't go upward or it it did not go sideways. Uh, why did it fall straight to my head? So he became curious. He became curious uh, to understand the force uh, for resulting in object uh, falling to the earth. Uh, it made him uh, think that if there was a force that made the earth attract o objects towards itself, okay, then why was the earth not attracted to, to these objects? Uh, so he uh, he began to think that uh, if there was a certain force uh, by which uh, Earth attracts uh, these objects, and uh, why didn't Earth uh, go upwards, or uh, why didn't uh, why was not uh, not Earth also attracted towards these objects? So he had a question. Uh, uh, questions uh, such as if the earth at, at, attract an apple then uh, could it also attract the moon okay uh, he uh, figured out that it it was the same force uh, acting in 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 both cases the uh, motion of the moon uh, suggested that at each point it fell towards the earth uh, instead of going uh, in a straight path which means that the earth attracted the moon towards its center. Okay. The uh, motion of the moon around the earth can be understood uh, with the help of uh, with the help of the activity. I will I will give you, uh, give you an activity here by which you can understand the uh, motion of the moon around the earth. Hold the string tightly in your hand and rotate it. What do you feel? Do you have to apply the force? Does the stone try to pull your hand away? Your hand should exert a continuous force on the stone to maintain the rotation of the stone in the same circle. This force, which is exerted by the hand on pulling stone towards the center, is centripetal force. Hence, when a body moves in a circular path, the force which acts towards the center is called centripetal force. You will also observe that the stone is exerting a force which tries to pull itself away from the center of the circle, that is, away from your hand. This force is the centrifugal force. Similarly, when a body moves in a circular path, the force that acts away from the center is called centrifugal force. While cycling in a bend or a curved path, a cyclist experiences a centripetal force, due to which the cyclist bends inwards. When a bus is moving in the bends, the passengers experience centrifugal force. Due to this force, the passengers bend away from the center of a turn or curve. Students, have you seen a magnet? A magnet exerts force to attract metals like iron, cobalt, and nickel. 
This pulling, which is exerted by the magnet on the iron, cobalt or nickel, is called magnetic force. I uh, hope you have uh, understood this uh, very well by, uh, by this activity. So, uh, what was this uh, activity about? Uh, the, uh, the centripetal force that act, acts toward the center of the system okay, along the uh, radius of the uh, circular path is provided by in the inward force exerted by the string. Okay, uh, suppose this was the string and this uh, here and the, uh, the man was pulling this string. So, this string provides this centripetal force. Okay. The string provides the centripetal force, and uh, without the centripetal force, the circular motion is not possible. If this, uh, if this uh, string was not there, uh, that means this uh, circular motion would not be uh, would not exist here. Uh, so, at some uh, instant of time, the man uh, releases the string. If uh, at some instant of time the man release this string, uh, what will happen to the uh, motion of the stone? What will happen? As the man uh, releases the string, the centripetal force vanishes, and the body uh, ceases to move in a circular path. And this uh, this stone will uh, will be flying along the tangent at that point to the circular path. If uh, uh, if for example this man releases this uh, release this string here what will happen to this stone what will happen to this stone if uh, if it is moving like this in uh, in this direction uh, this this stone will be uh, will go in this direction if this uh, stone is uh, is uh, release it okay this means that this will uh, this will maintain a tangential path it will maintain a tangential path uh, because we have studied that the uh, in the circular motion, the the body continuously changes its uh, changes its uh, direction, and uh, and when it changes the direction, uh, the velocity the velocity of the object is along the tangent drawn uh, drawn on the circle. Okay, if if for example the body is moving in this uh, in the circular path. Uh, where is the velocity if the, if the body is here at some instant uh, uh, what the direction uh, of its velocity its velocity is along the tangent okay Al along the tangent like this if I draw the tangent here it's like this if uh, if the body is moving like this okay so this is the tangent if the body is here what the direction of its velocity its direction uh, the velocity uh, direction will be tangent drawn at that point its velocity will be like this so if this uh, stone is released here if this is released here the stone and it will maintain its tangential velocity like this it will maintain its tangential velocity so it will uh, it will be thrown or it will go in in a tangential path so uh, similarly the force of tr attraction of the earth okay uh, for example uh, for example this is the for example this is earth okay and this is the moon here this moon uh, revolves around this earth it revolves around this earth how is the centripetal force uh, force maintained it's maintained by by the gravitational pull here okay so here is the gravitation so uh, it is maintained uh, the force of attraction of the earth uh, provides the necessary centripetal force here this uh, this uh, force of attraction provides the centripetal force uh, and and that centripetal force um, uh, this uh, uh, holds this, uh, uh, this moon and it uh, rotates around the earth so uh, it uh, the force of attraction of the earth provides the necessary centripetal force that makes the moon revolve around the earth in a in a circular uh, orbit okay 
and uh, you may consider it here if the force of attraction ceases to exist to see, uh, exist here what will happen to the moon the moon will uh, uh, suddenly fall out like this it it will maintain its tangential path okay and uh, it will it will not be uh, circulating around the earth anymore if uh, if the gravitational force of earth ceases to exist